Hello everybody. So today video, today's video, I want to kind of sort of pretend but at the same time I do want to take a pulse in the in the room so to speak as far as which car I should buy next. Now, I am filming this as you can see right here, September 11th. Uh, it's a total coincidence that it is a Saturday and I have some, some free time. But by the time you guys see this, it's going to be probably well into the winter. Um, but I, I do have uh, some, some free time right now. And I want to kind of explore it in a different way that I've been doing these videos. And that would be, you know, when the time comes. Now, this time could come, you know, I don't know, next year, in a few years. But when the time does come for me to replace my 2006 Lincoln Town Car Signature Limited, whether, you know, it breaks completely down or I get sick of it or some opportunity comes up and, and me to get a different car, whatever the case might be, what car I should get next. Now, uh, the best way to for you to tell me this is just put in the comments, you know, I as you can see, I kind of lined up a bunch of tabs again. And here, there's going to be mostly American cars. Or there's one Japanese car. And yeah, just put in a comment. What do you, what do you think? And these are in alphabetical order. I, I went with AutoTrader once again just to, to open up uh, because they use kind of a large format pictures. I didn't limit myself geographically. I just selected, uh, you know, all from my zip code. So, you know, because obviously I want to get a large enough sample. But so don't worry about this one being in New York. But I want to show you the cars that I would consider based on the price range, based on the mileage, kind of on the trim level. I mean, I spent some time lining these up and you just tell me, you know, there will be, uh, because we're going off alphabetical order, all the Lincoln stuff is going to be at the, at the very end. So if all you care about is Lincoln Town Cars, by all means, uh, skip forward uh, till relatively, you know, far into the video. All right. So starting off, you guys know me. Um, I love Buicks and in alphabetical order, the Lucerne. Um, I had I had a lacrosse. I mentioned this several times. I don't know if I want to buy the same car again, but you know those Lucernes, I never owned them, so I, I would love to have it. And in this case, I would love to go for any Lucerne uh, that's a higher up trim, uh, preferably. I didn't. I don't think I found any supermodels, but but let's let's kind of take a look. So 2008, you know, about 7,500 bucks, uh, 63,000 miles. Um, you know, I love the color black. Uh, let's see. And this is, this is a CXS. So you can kind of see, so it is a V8. It is a North star engine. I know what you're thinking, but let's, you know, keep in mind, I don't know the condition of these vehicles, any one of them. So, uh, once we kind of zero in on the car I should get, then the, any follow-up videos I will make will be about, you know, selecting the right car from the, the make and model that we end up choosing. So in this case, CXS, uh, which is weird because, you know, it doesn't have any wood on the steering wheel because, you know, it's kind of early on in, in their years. Uh, it does have a heated steering wheel, which I would love to have. Um, no sunroof. Uh, that sucks. I do love my sunroofs. Uh, but it's got, and also it's got just the heated seats. It doesn't have the cool seats. So I don't know what kind of CXS this is, but the fact that it doesn't have navigation system is perfectly fine with me. I know these cars smell very well, so smell well. The color combo is great, so the bottom line is, oh, it's got a remote start. Somebody chewed up the manual. The bottom line is, oh, God. Uh, yes, I would love to have this this car. So this is probably a CXS that's like not optioned beyond its very base form. I'm going to try not to spend too much time on every single one of them. So some of the other stuff I selected here, which, you know, the CXS is kind of like their early trim level. Then they started having the CXL with a bunch of other options and ultra convenience package and whatever other luxury packages they have. A little bit more expensive, a little less miles. I love the color. Love those headlights too, nice and clear. Um, you know, I do prefer my interiors to be darker. So I try not to go with the tan interior, but if I can't find it, you know, I'll, I'll go with it. So, yeah, so this is one of those things where later on in, in the model years, they started going with the CXL, but because it has some options, it has the, the cool seats, which I really don't care about, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, gray interior is fine. You got the wood. So I would, I would even prefer this one over the, the first one that, that we saw. Not sure what happened there. Uh, heated steering wheel check. 
Uh, column shifter, check. I would love to have column shifter. You know, once again, no nav is great. No sunroof, not so great. Um, yeah, so this would be an example. And this would be a, uh, the, the V6, which is fine by me. So definitely I would consider this one in Iowa. You know, no no problem there. All right, just, just a few more. I don't know what happened here. Yeah, oh, I guess. All right, no wood. I don't know why it opened up like this. I always love this little wood trim. All right, let's get rid of this lady. So same thing, kind of kind of grayish interior. Yeah, this is a restyled version, perfectly fine with me. Yeah, I would go with this one as well. All right, the last few here. Uh, let's, oops. Oh, wow, small. No, oh, the pictures are actually smaller here. That's weird. 32,000 miles, 99.50, so in Iowa. And you, you know, the weird thing is, is when I bought my town car, I I just went in by myself. I didn't bring anyone with me. I didn't check the condition out. So obviously this would be a different trip. If I go somewhere, I'll, I'll try and find a buddy to go with me. All right. So besides, all right. So the Buick Lucerne is one of them. Besides that, the LeSabre, I do love these. And for this, I selected the limited trim. I, I do love all my luxury features that I could find. Let's see, let's go back here. There you go. Okay, so this one opens up. So once again, 1,004, 8,900, 83,000 miles. Why are the pictures are small here? Yep, I love this last bubbly body style. Nothing wrong with it. Love it. You know, these are, we all know, are very reliable 3,800 engines. Uh, and, and I selected the limited because oh, this one is tan, but so be it. Because I do want me some heated seats. And I also love the darker wood on the limited trim. This one, the seat is a bit, you know, too too well worn. But I also love the heads up display. I had the heads up display in my uh, lacrosse. Loved it. Absolutely did. No wood here. I don't think these things had any wood. Uh, maybe with some, you know, some other unique trim levels. But yeah. Ella Sabre would be great as well. Same thing here, uh, 6,900 miles. Nice color, I don't know how it is on the, oh wow, 30 pictures, holy moly. All right, can we get in here? Oh, see, this is weird, like it jumps. But in any case, you guys kind of see what I would want to have in my Ella Sabre. Once again, the last body style, I love these little Buick shields all over the place. Let's get to the interior. And sorry if you guys are seeing me click too much. Yeah, nice darker gray interior. Love it. Plush seats. I could never understand this little thing. It's like they already invested in the power seat. It's like this is embarrassing. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. What are you going to do? Yes, here you go. Uh, heated seats as well here. I don't know if they had the heads up. This one doesn't have the heads up display for whatever reason, but it does have the heated seats. Yeah, this one it doesn't have it. But you know, I'll, I will not over overlook this car because it doesn't have a heads up display. All right, you got that. But yeah, here you have Lombard. That's normal. So yeah, this would be it too. Uh, Park Avenue. I think there's only one, maybe a couple. Park Avenue. All right, let's say we're limited. All right, so let's let's switch it like this. All right, this one is interesting. You know, it's in Florida. It's only got thirty-two thousand miles. It's got a hundred pictures for God's sakes. I mean, who has the time <laughs> to take a hundred pictures? But they really want to capture how well this thirty-two thousand mile Buick Saber Limited looks. And yes, it looks awesome. It's got clean engine bay. It's got all the niceties. It's got like this two-tone interior, which is awesome. I don't know what kind of trim or like, look at that. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Let's see, does this go full? All right, they took a hundred pictures, but not in the right fo format. Yeah, like I love this, the, the two-tone, whatever combo this is, it's beautiful. Look, black seats or dark gray seats, black looks, what looks like a black steering wheel, which is unique on its own. Oh my God, like this, this people had way too much time on their hands. Like, look at that. Like, I don't, once again, I've never seen this color combo before. I don't know if it's custom. No heads up display, but I've never seen that. I know I already said that like 20 times. Um, 
32,000 miles. Wow. Like this, this, this would be worth a trip to Florida to, um, you know, either to drive. Oh, they have a video here too. Either to drive or to, to fly and then check it out. In any case, all right, Pennsylvania, 27,000 miles, eh, tan interior, but also has this darker wood. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so you guys kind of see what what I would be interested in. All right, yeah, the Park Avenue, they didn't really have, like I selected all ranges as far as like the mileage goes away from my zip code. Yeah, not a whole lot of Park Avenues out there. Now, I could have went with a different website. Uh, but in any case, you know, this one has aftermarket rims. I'm not saying I'm crazy for them, but at least, you know, I can show you a Park Avenue. And this is Ultra with Ultra Luxury Package. I don't know what that means. 40 pictures over here. Are they big? Yes, thank you. Uh, yes, the, let's see, is these? Okay, yeah, I thought they were like aftermarket, but no, they're not. Yep, 3,800 supercharged. Not crazy about the rims, but it is the Ultra. It is the Park Avenue. I love them. There you go. Let's get to the good, the good stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yep, 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 yep. I always loved how they kind of crinkled the leather in these things. Oh, yeah, yeah, the wood interior, all that goodness. Would love to have this car minus the rims. But if I do come across a Park Avenue, and if you guys help me select it, and here they did not cheap out on the auto, like on the uh, power to lumbar, and you have this console here with little wood lids. So I don't know, whatever is the ultimate luxury package, whatever that does. Yeah, love this gauge cluster. I would love to have a Park Avenue too. And I think, yeah, all right, nice. And this is like the only one I could find. All right, moving along in alphabetical order. You guys know me, Cadillac DTS. I love these things, love them in black. Okay, tiny pictures again. Um, Let's see, Illinois, okay, it's not too far away from me. 61,000 miles, price is decent, and it's in black. Now that's weird, you see, I can't click here, but I can scroll here. Makes zero sense. But then when you go full screen, pictures are smaller. <laughs> How does that work? I have no idea. Now it works. All right, black on black, my favorite color combo, heated cold seats, wood on the wheel, that useless massage feature, yes, like this would be good. I don't care about the nav system, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, yeah, the DTS is, 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 my, is my thing. All right, a few more DTSs. This one is also in Illinois, so apparently Illinois is a hotbed for DTSs. Also small pictures, 32 of them. Oh, lighter color combo, it's fine by me. Let's see, can I, all right, so now it, I don't, I don't, just don't understand how it works with me clicking on stuff. All right, the gold badging, love that. Let's see, yep. So I love this color combo too. This is the classic breakage in the seats. <laughs> so, um, all right, it looks like this is going to be a pretty long video. So I'll split it up into, into two parts, but, you know, please watch both of them and then comment in the comments <laughs> all right yes the eggplant shifter of course yeah this this would this would be perfect no nav is fine you got this uh, wood this a later model so only on on the, the top half heated seats in the back yep perfect all right let's look through chrysler uh and then we'll let's see i yeah i should I should have a few chryslers over there let's look through chrysler and then i'll do the part two videos I love Chrysler 300. Uh, I rarely, I mean, I rarely mention them, but the few times I mentioned, I said that, you know, I do strongly believe that the, the current Chrysler 300 uh, is a modern version of a town car. A long forgotten car that very few people buy new. I do see some fleets still buying them. I do see some like, pseudo limo company still buying them a few cabs still running them uh not in the stream level but I, I but they're still out there and they're still making them okay i don't know what happened here and the chrysler 300c is the, this would be the one car that i would consider buying new 
Now, I didn't select any new ones for this video, but, you know, oh, John Varvatos, okay, so I didn't even, didn't even realize it. it didn't say that here, okay, so it's some sort of a unique trim level for whatever that designer series is. Yeah, 31,000 miles, it's a 300C, love the interior, I would consider it. Kind of see right here, 300C, I mean, yeah, the, the price is out there, I mean, these are much newer vehicles, oh yeah, there you go, but... I love how they look. I don't like their whole sporty bits, but but the C, the whenever it's non like sporty version, where it's just a luxury version, you know, with with that Hemi engine that kind of sort of makes it sporty. Love it. Love the front. Love the interior. It's old. It's it's cheap, but it's functional. It's not that big on the inside, but I I love these cars when they were in our rental fleets. Obviously not so optioned. Yeah, like this this type of interior, although it doesn't have wood on it, but I love this, like this beefy steering wheel with the, the little metal thing in the middle. Yeah, love it. Heated cold seats, I think these things come with. And it does have that fancy cruise control, which I kind of love, and I've tested in some of my uh, rental cars this year. Yes, absolutely love these cars. So I would consider buying more. Hey, after all, you know, my... My wife did tell me when I bought my Tom car, it's like, hey, you should have just bought a, uh, <laughs> you should have bought a new Camry. And she said, hey, if you sp if you would have spent 30 to 40 grand on a car, I would have been less pissed than this Tom car. Where's the logic in that? I have no idea, but oh yeah, absolutely gorgeous cars. When it comes, you know, my personal opinion in, in a modern, whatever you can consider a modern car with like a 15 year old chassis. Uh, this would be good. Now, I don't know, C and then the Platinum. See, once again, it doesn't work. Can I just make this work? Can you take me here? There you go. There you go. Yep, yep. The beefy steering wheel again. Love these gauges, too. That little screen in the middle. And then the 200, too. The Chrysler 200, although I didn't I didn't choose it for this, for this list because I kind of, you know, I had a, my phase... Look, 6,300 6, miles. I had my Chrysler through 200 phase, which kind of phased away. Yep, the wood on the interior. Oh, that goodness. Yep, I would love to have this car. So, let's see. How many of you think I should get it? All right, you get the point. All right, folks. In the next segment, we're going to go seas and beyond. Although, wait a minute. I think we did go... Oh, crap. All right, so they didn't, they didn't open an order, so damn it. All right. Well, let's cover let's cover the these three. So besides the the Cadillac, the DTS, I would consider a lower mileage Deville from this generation, from like the last generation Deville. So let let's cover this. This dealership, I, I I visited this dealership. It's not too far away from me. It's a little sketchy. I'll be honest with you. But they do get good cars there, as far as like my 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 favorite selection. This interior, these interiors are kind of cheap, but I will consider a good, um, you know, condition one with the heated seats. I know some of them came with the cold seats, so like the top of the top of the line. But yeah, I would consider these things too. There was a few example. Um, 19, 19 pictures, let's see. Yeah, most of them didn't come with any wood, so that's kind of a problem for me. Uh, a lot of them didn't come with heated seats. So, yeah, so it's kind of like the, the town cars, you know, signature limited, although they didn't like they always had like the different weird trim levels and options where I couldn't I don't really understand what kind of trim option I need to get to get the heated seats. I know they had like the DTS, which I think this one is it's the top of the line. But yeah, this would be the one that I would definitely consider. It's in Illinois, 42,000 miles. I don't know what the price is. And the pictures are small again. Yeah, like this this would have been a perfect Deville for me. Uh, once again, I don't care about all the sporty bits. Not a fan of the extra wood that they swapped on here. Uh, but the wood that belongs in there, I do love. And I do also love these gauges. I, I'm not a big fan of those electronic gauges, which most of them came with. How did this happen? How do they rip my portion of their glove box? No clue. Uh, the... All right, well, anyway, you guys can kind of get the idea. All right. So part two, it will be L's and beyond. We'll see you next time.